is a few items that I distribute out to family members and friends as housewarming gifts. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go over a few of these items. Matter of fact, I'm going to go through all of them. I'm not going to get in depth with like all the specs and stuff like that. But maybe some of these items can benefit you in the event of an emergency. Okay, first off is the flashlight. You want to get a flashlight that can be charged up solar. You can also charge this up with a micro USB uh, cord. And you can also charge your phone up with this flashlight also. It has the indicator light on as far as the battery. Man, I've dropped this thing plenty of times, man. And she still holds up. And this also has a light on the side there. So get yourself a nice flashlight. Also, what I put in uh, my housewarming gift box, I try to put radios inside of the box. This radio, I did a review on this in the past, has it's, it's capable of being charged up solar. You can put batteries. You also have a port on the side where you can recharge the internal battery up. And you can also hand crank this sucker to get you through. Now, this also has the NOAA weather um, station on here. AM FM radio. You want to get that. Okay, let's say you're in an apartment. And you're not able to run that generator. But if you have a balcony that you can maybe possibly sit out, put some plants out there. Get yourself an EcoFlow Max. Get yourself some solar panels. In the event of an emergency, um, what I have here is a, excuse me, refrigerator, freezer, cooler. You like tailgating? You don't want to bring that ice, man? Get yourself one of these. This is a 40, uh, I think this is a 40, um, I think it's a 40 quart. Yes, this is a 40 quart unit. I purchased this a while back, man, for $2.29 off of Amazon. Pretty sure price have risen since then. But you can set this down to minus 8 or you can set it to 36 Fahrenheit, your preference. This is something that, man, I'm telling you, when that power go out and you want to put food in here, man, check this out, man. You can put that sucker in there, man, and you can set it to freezer or refrigerator. It doesn't have the option where you can, you know, have one or the other. You know what I mean? Excuse me. Both at the same time, like refrigerator on this side, freezer on this side. No, but you can take this out to give yourself more space. Put that sucker in there like so, man. And I'm going to turn it on in a few, but I'm going to keep on going through the stuff I have right here. Also, man, listen, Amazon sells these bulbs, right? You will place the bulbs in your lamps, right? So it has an internal battery where that battery will be charged when you plug your, use your lamp. So in an event of emergency, you would unplug the lamp. Get your, It'll have one of these kits in here. All this came inside of there. This switch right here, you can actually make that bulb mobile and use it. I'll show you in a minute. You take this switch, you unplug the cord from the socket and plug it in there like so. Powers out. You don't want to plug anything up to your power, I mean your solar generator. There you go. You have your light. For six to eight hours, man, six to eight hours, possibly even longer, depending on the use. So you have your bulb right there. And let's say you want to move around. You don't have any uh, candles. You forgot that flashlight. Check this out. You take that bulb out like so. Right. Get yourself your little switch kit. I call it a switch kit. Your little switch has the hook there. And guess what? It's mobile. You can hang this sucker up in your garage. There you go. You can hang it up in your garage. You can hang it around your house. Never be in the dark with these bulbs, man. I'll leave the link on where you can purchase these bulbs. Now, we all know the air quality in my area. It's uh, cold red. Or if you're living in a high rise, 
Man, listen. Every little second counts in the event of an emergency. You want to get yourself a go time gear mask. You have a fire. Maybe the neighbors are having a fire next door inside of a large apartment complex. Smoke is building up. Man, listen. Throw your mask on. Throw the mask on of your uh, uh, elders or throw the mask on. It'll give you enough time. Anything will help to get you out of that situation, man. Check one of these out, man. Check one of these out. It's a gold mask, man, to get you through that event, man, or help you get you through that event. Come on, man. We got to try. All right. So always try to put these. I always try to put food where you don't, um, you want to use less fuel. You know, you don't want to burn too much stuff. So I always put something that you can open and eat. Ready to eat food bars. These are food rations. They have a five-year shelf life. 24,000 calories, man. Try to check these out, man. Walmart used to sell these for $5.49, but guess what? These suckers are going for $30 right now. I bought a case of them. All right, so we went through all that. Let me show you the EcoFlow Max. Let me just turn that on. All right, so in the event of an emergency, let me just go around here. I have this plugged up to the EcoFlow Max. I purchased this off of, um, I got this off of eBay. I do have a couple of the um, solar generators. Uh, I'm just showing you this um, right now because I have the other ones in use right now. I'm actually charging them up, so I'm going to show you this. In the event of emergency, you will get your um, refrigerator cooler. You don't want to run the big refrigerator. Take the food out. Put some food in here, man. Put that sucker on freeze. Set it to freeze. This sucker draws low voltage. It's got eco mode on it. And it'll help you out in the event of emergency. So you want to tailgate. You, want to, you don't want to pack that ice. Water leaking everywhere, man. Get yourself one of these. It doesn't have to be this model. But get yourself one of these. And it also comes with, I think it dropped on the floor. Give me one second. Where did that cord go? Well, this is also, here it is right here, sorry. This has DC outlet port where you can hook your, this um, cooler freezer up and you can run this when you want to tailgate. It'll keep that uh, uh, beverage cold. You can keep that food frozen. Depending on your preference, man. So, this is some of the items that I purchase and give to family members as housewarming gifts, man. I'm telling you, in the event of emergency, man, these items will come in handy. And let's say, oh, I don't have the money to get one of these. Man, listen, get yourself a power bank. When I first started out prepping and doing stuff like that, man... I started out with this sucker, man. This was my first power bank, man. Take this on road trips, man. You out there, uh, depending on where you're going, your battery run, you, 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 you turn your car off at a rest stop, you can't turn it back on because the battery is dead, you can't charge nothing up. Bam, here we go. You got yourself a, 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 a power bank, right? excuse me, you got yourself a small power bank right here, man. That can charge that you can you have your um little AC outlets right here. You can also have your USB outlets, man. You can charge um, your phone up, you can use your laptop with this unit. This is a uh, approximately 150 watts. I did have a little small little uh lab uh top I, I use for this thing, man, to get me through the emergency situation. So this is just some of the items that I give as housewarming uh, gifts, you know? And maybe some of these items right here can possibly help you out. All right, so I hope some of these items can help some of you out there that's looking for anything that can get you through a situation. I mean, the cost for some of these, the most expensive thing up here is, is the uh, EcoFlow um, 
uh, Delta Max. But like I said, they have different units to fit your budget. And I'm out, guys. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.